Hi everyone. So with LogSeq under rapid development, I thought it'd be useful just to provide a bit of an update to the video I posted a couple of weeks ago, just to showcase some of the new features and implementation that the team have been able to add in. One of the major changes that have been revamped is the login and the authorization with GitHub. So what we'll do is if you go to logseek.com, um, this is a start page that you get, so it's the date, and you can start writing some notes already, and there's a little bit of a brief description which follows. And now, to get the process of syncing with GitHub, what we need to do is log in with GitHub on the top right-hand corner. As I'm already logged in to GitHub, it allows me to just authorize LogSeq. If you don't have an account on GitHub, it's free to do and very quick to set up. So we'll just authorize LogSeq. This will bring you back to logseek.com and it will ask you for what repo you want to do. Now you can either create uh, from here or what I just find slightly easier is if you go to github.com on your avatar, click on your repositories. We'll just create a new one and we'll call this my notes. Uh, we'll add in a, just a brief description. We'll make it pub private as only I want to access it and we don't want to click any of these ones because we don't need them and then we'll create repository. After that's done, if you copy the link from the browser bar and you paste it into the logseek.com and then add install, this will bring up an authorization from GitHub and what this now allows you to do is rather than select all repositories you can just select the one repository. So this just makes it a little bit more secure and gives you peace of mind. So only one repository of yours is being interacting with LogSeq. Uh, so when that's done, if we just install and authorize, this will go back to logseek.com and then we just need to wait a few minutes or a few moments just for the green dot to appear just to um, show us that everything is syncing fine. So a cool thing of LogSeq, which I found really beneficial, is let's say, for example, on the 6th of September, I uh, read some notes on smart notes. So this is just a note um, which I'm writing. Square brackets just means that um, I'm linking it or I'm referencing to a page. If that page does not exist, as you can see, search for a page, there's, there's nothing which comes up. Once I click enter, you can see a slightly different font or shading, and that's created a link. And when I click on the link, it will go to the smart note page. And what we'll just do here is, uh, so we'll just do a brief bullet point. And then what we will do is we will create on the search bar up here in the top left hand corner. So what we will do is we'll do an, a page called note taking. And as you can see, it's suggesting new page because it's searched through your LogSeq pages. It doesn't find a, a note taking page. So this we can just create a new page quite quickly. And what we'll do is we will do reference the smart notes page so if I start typing smart I then it, it now knows that there's a smart notes page so I'll click on that that will do the link click enter just to get to the next point and create the links so now if I go to the smart notes page it will go back here so as you can see there's two linked references one on the 6th of September where I read some smart notes and one on the note taking page which we created which says see some smart notes now, the cool thing is, if I go to the three dots on the right-hand side and I click Rename, so I actually realized I didn't want to call it Smart Notes, I wanted to call it Clever Notes. So I'll type in Clever Notes, click Submit. And this is where the magic happens. So Clever Notes, the, the title's changed. The, pit, the notes have stayed the same. But as you can see here in the two linked references, it now says Red Notes on Clever Notes and See Some Notes on Clever Notes. So the smart notes everywhere, or the smart notes reference everywhere has been changed to clever notes. So if I do smart notes in the search bar, nothing appears. Whereas if I do clever notes, 
the three pages or the three locations where we mentioned clever notes now appears. So that just makes it so much more useful than having to go in, change the link references, make sure they're fine. You now change it once and it will change it throughout your whole um, knowledge, knowledge base and, and notes. So that was one thing, which is quite cool. And what we'll do is we'll just go back to the home page. Another thing which I found quite cool as well was let's just do, for example, some notes in order. So these are in chronological order, one to seven. And I actually think, well, hang on, six should come first. So I can click on it and then drag it. And that will just drag it to the position. So now uh, I can just drag and drop different notes in different places. And the cool thing is if I do, for example, 7.1 and 7.2, and I'll click on this link, I'll click on this bullet, I drag it to wherever I want it to now go. You can see it's dragged also the, uh, the it's, it's children notes, which just makes it you can just move notes around as you wish, um, depending on what order you wish it to be in. Another cool thing which has been revamped as well and improved is the graph view. So it won't show much in this case, but I'll just show you the concept of it. So if you click on the avatar and you click on the graph, you can see here we have the note taking and the clever notes. And that's all simply saying that these two notes, there's a link between them. So what we'll do is we will create a new one. We'll just call it new page. So again, it's search for a new page. It doesn't find one, so it's suggesting to me to add in a new page. And we will do a clever note link, just so that this one links to the clever note page. And now if I just go back to the graph, you can see it's added the new page, which links to clever page, and then clever page links to note taking and the new page. And now what I can also do is just click on the graph itself, um, on the new page one, for example, I can click on there. And now I want to say uh, not taking. So hopefully what we should see is some sort of triangle between the three notes pages. So we'll go to graph. And as you can see here, it's just simply suggesting new page. And the direction of the, of the dots uh, just shows which, which direction it's linking in. So new page is linking to note taking and the clever notes. Note taking is linking from the new page and it's linking to clever notes, and clever notes is being linked from note taking and the new page. And what I find really useful is you can, as I shown on the new page, you can click on it, click on the note, and it will bring you to the note itself. Which I just, it just saves time um, having to search for it or clicking in different places. So that's worked really well. So I hope you find that useful. Uh, just a couple of new features and tips and tricks for you. And if you've got any questions, please just leave a comment. Thanks very much.